Hello everyone, my name is Ray from Asian Filmist and I'm just a guy who loves movies. And today we're going to be talking about renowned animation director Shinkai Makoto's latest film, Your Name. Now Shinkai Makoto, he is an animation director whose films you definitely have to watch, especially if you're a fan of Studio Ghibli and Miyazaki Hayao. Actually, he's one of the guys that people say is in line to be the next Miyazaki. And let's just say, after watching Your Name, you know, this movie definitely makes him live up to that hype. So what is Your Name? Well, the whole premise behind the movie is dream. And have you ever had a dream where you feel like you're falling down through the sky and you feel like you're never ever going to land? The movie starts off like that and we have a narration from one of the characters setting up the story. And after the scene of falling down through the clouds, you are presented with this opening sequence similar to the opening themes you can find in TV animation. The music of Radwimps gets blasted into your face and then you get presented with all these images hinting and foreshadowing the characters of Taki and Mitsuha, the two main characters. And the whole sequence is really cool. You think that it was was a actually TV anime but no they actually made this for the movie now this is only the opening sequence of the movie but already the animation is stunning it is jaw-dropping and it makes you not want to look away now the two main characters we have there's Taki and there's Mitsuha Taki is voiced by Kamiki Ryunosuke and Mitsuha is voiced by Kamishirai Shimone now first of all let's point out that the two actors aren't actually professional voice actors they're actually film actors you can actually catch many of their works in movies and TV dramas like you might know Kamiki Ryunosuke from the adaptations of Roni Kenshin and Bakuman. And if you've seen the Japanese remake of cl the classic My Fair Lady, it's called Lady Maiko, you might have seen Kamishiraishi as the main character in that movie. So these two actors, needless to say, they are both up and comers, but they have proved that they can do a lot of good stuff with the movies they've put out thus far. So now let's talk very briefly about the story of Your Name. The story follows these two high school students, Taki and Mitsuha. The two characters start experiencing these series of lucid dreams. Like for example, as the story starts off with Mitsuha, she is this girl who lives in the countryside, but in her dreams, she's living the life of a boy who lives in the center of Tokyo. And Taki, he's actually that boy, and he's dreaming that he is Mitsuha, who is a girl who lives in the countryside. So the two characters, they don't know each other at all. They're total strangers to each other. Now at first, you know, they think of these dreams as just dreams, but this, but they just happen to feel very real. But after a while, both characters realize that they are starting to experience memory lapses every other day. Like when they talk to family and friends, they would be commented with, oh, you know, today you're acting normal or wow you're acting very different from yesterday are you all right and then they start leaving messages for each other and after a while they come to realize that they are being swapped into the other person's body for some reason that maybe these are just dreams that actually might be the real life of another person so your name is a really interesting take on the body swap genre you know it's full of lighthearted comedy it's full of a lot of fun gags and it does a lot of interesting things to make this often done genre very unique and entertaining when they realize that they're body swapping with each other they decide to make these set of rules so that way the other person's lives wouldn't be ruined by the other's antics. And they start helping each other out day to day. Like when Mitsuha is in Taki's body, she helps him score a date with the girl he likes. And when Taki is in Mitsuha's body, he helps her fight off against people who talk behind her back. So there's a lot of fun stuff in this movie that we can start talking about. So now yeah, let's do that. Let's talk about the things I really enjoyed about this movie. First off, it's a Shinkai Makoto film, so you know it's going to be visually amazing. And yes, it delivers. As expected, everything is very well drawn, everything is very very well animated and it's everything is so detailed and what I really like about Shinkai Makoto's movies is the way he draws in detail his cityscapes and because Shinkai Makoto's artwork is so damn amazing it makes you feel like you're really there and grounds the story in reality and it's pretty cool he actually uses real Tokyo and you know how it actually is designed actually the first scene when you see Taki come out of the station right away you know oh that's Shinjuku and then when the story shifts to Mitsuha's home and you know, she lives in the countryside it's still just as beautiful and actually contrast from Taki's home in Shinjuku, Mitsuha actually lives in a fictional place made specifically for the movie. But the way everything was designed and the way everything was detailed, you it almost seems like it's a real place. And as expected from every Shinkai film, you know, the way he uses light makes every scene that uses it really warm and makes it feel very vivid. And it helps with the kind of premise he's trying to go with. You know, the, one of the main central themes of Your Name is dreams. And when he needs to pull it out, he really makes the scenery feel very dreamlike. And just like how the visuals felt very real and grounded, the animation was just as organic. For example, Mitsuha, she does dances at the local shrine during festival time. And there's this one particular scene where she's dancing with her younger sister. And, you know, they're both doing the dance, but what made the scene stick out was that both characters were not doing the exact same movement at the same time. As a matter of fact, both characters were animated separately. So rather than just using one model as a base of animation for two characters, two separate models were used. And just little things like that, it really made 
the animation pop out. Another thing I liked about Your Name is its balance between comedy and drama. Now the first act of the movie when the characters are constantly switching in and out of each other's bodies there's a lot of fun, there's a lot of comedy and a ton of moments that make you smile and laugh. And it's for the most part lighthearted. that is until the beginning of the second act when it takes a kind of dark and dramatic turn. Now this is when the story gets really interesting. There are a lot of intriguing plot points that come out, you get introduced to a lot of mysterious questions and you just want to find out more. And it's during this transition into the dramatic second act that you really see Shin Kai Makoto's storytelling shine. And what I liked about the transition from the first to second act is that it was really smooth. It didn't feel schizophrenic or jarring at all. And yeah, the movie made you smile when it wanted to and it could really damn well make you cry whenever it needed to. You know, we can go on and on and we can keep talking about the artwork featured in Shinkai Makoto's films. We can talk about his storytelling. But one thing that really shined in your name were the performances of the two lead actors. As with any body swap story, the two actors give performances in both characters' styles. And in this story, both actors had to pull off dual gender performances. Like Kamiki Ryunosuke, whenever he is Taki, he's your typical boisterous boy. But then Kamiki has to change, he has to act like he's Mitsuha inside Taki's body. And that's when it becomes really cute. He makes Taki talk in this weird, cute, and girly way. But even though the fact that, you know, Mitsuha, she's a country girl, and actually her character speaks with a country dialect. And both actors really captured that spirit very well. And not just that, whenever Kami Shiraishi had to act as Taki inside Mitsuha's body, it was hilarious as well. And you know, it's really these two actors' performances that made the characters really likable. They were very charming and they really made you care for what happens to the characters throughout the story. And also another thing, I really like the themes of this movie and the way the film explores them. You know, the central theme is dreams, as mentioned earlier. You ever had those moments where, you know, you wake up from a dream, you remember what it is, but as time goes on, you slowly forget it? Something similar to that concept is a very central part of this movie. Now, I'm not spoiling anything because if you look at the trailer, they kind of mentioned all that stuff already. And some other things they hint at the story is the red string of fate. You know, I think it's popular mostly in Asian dramas or maybe anime, but basically if two people are tied together with this thin red string, it usually means they're destined to be connected together. Like no matter what, fate will find a way. And one thing I noticed that was pretty interesting is that there are a lot of focuses on the animation of sliding doors. Whether it's a train, you know, the, the doors always go this way. Whether it be trains or just doors in a building, doors in a home. Now you can interpret those doors in many different ways, but you know, I'll just leave it at that. So Your Name, it really has the best of all worlds. You have fantastic imagery. You have a beautiful soundtrack with theme songs sung by Radwimps. You had amazing and engrossing storytelling. You had had really appealing characters and you have a very well put together story that pays off in the end. But as with any review that we do, I gotta talk a little bit about the bad things about this movie. Well, not necessarily the bad things, just the stuff I thought were kind of lacking or that I did enjoy about this movie. That being said, there was only really one thing I felt kind of uh, about. And that is, you know, uh, it might be a little bit of a spoiler, but they don't explicitly explain why or how Mitsuha and Taki started exchanging bodies in the first place. You know, you could look at it both ways. You could be disappointed that they, you know, there's no real explanation as to why they swap. And on the other hand, you can just suspend your disbelief and just accept that there's this kind of unexplained magic that kind of makes this universe go along. And you know, it's fine. Sometimes those stories work out and it adds this really deep fantastical element to the story that just makes it all the more charming. As for how it works out in your name, I'm kind of half half. I really want to know why they started switching bodies. But at the same time, I can kind of accept this kind of mysterious magic because it really sets the atmosphere and it really makes the story very unique. But yeah, as for anything else I felt wrong about this movie, that was it. Everything else, it was perfect. And the bottom line is your name. You know, it's a film that's as great as can be expected from Shinkai Makoto. You had beautiful visuals, you had amazing storytelling, you had fantastic music, and just a little bit of that magic of Shinkai Makoto to make this, you know, often done body swap story unique and interesting. And trust me, there is a lot of visual spectacle and there are plenty of heart-wrenching dramatic moments that'll keep you glued to the screen. But that reminds me, there's, there's one more thing I really have against this movie and that, you know, the movie ends. Now this movie, it didn't make me cry, but it did make me feel nice inside. Now, we definitely recommend this movie for fans of Shinkai Makoto. And, it's, you know, if you just love beautiful animation in general, beautiful animation, wonderful music, and, you know, if you like good movies, you should just watch this movie already. Anyway, those are my thoughts about Your Name. What did you guys think? Did you agree with the things I had to say or did you disagree? Whatever your thoughts are, leave a comment below. And don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe to Asian Filmists for more reviews and discussions on Asian films. You can also chat with us on our Facebook and Twitter pages 
And if you subscribe to our email newsletter, you can receive a free copy of our ebook, The 108 Asian Films for New Fans to Watch. And once again, my name is Ray. You can find me on Twitter at RayMaru555. And that's about it, everyone. All right, guys, I'm about to watch another movie. I'll be back soon, yeah? I promise.